Hey there, tech fans. Rick here again with a quick review of the CookTech P Plus Series Power Bank. This incredible product packs 40,000 milliampere hours of energy into a tiny little package that you can take with you pretty much anywhere to charge and operate all of your thirsty portable devices. And you can tell that I'm excited about it because normally a power bank has 10,000 milliampere hours or 20,000 milliampere hours. But the challenge is most of those other power banks are missing a connection you need to charge your latest and greatest phone or the new tablet you've got or your laptop. Not this one. This company has built every connection type and every flavor of charging capabilities into the product, including a Qi charging pad on the top. So anything you need to charge, even the latest and greatest phones, you can plug in here. Guess what? You can plug your laptop into it as well and charge it over PD 3.1. Now, I don't want to get ahead of myself because the way I'd like to do this clip is to start with a simple unboxing just to show you everything that comes with the product. And that way you'll understand exactly what you get if you decide this is right for you. And then I'll cover the specifications because CuckTech has thought about how they're going to build a product and what they want to build into it. And they're one of those companies that are always on the leading edge of technology. So they're building in standards and connections and technology that you should really care about. And this product has got all of it. And I'll get into that. And then I'll do a closer look and show you the connections and indicators and how the product works. And then I'll come back and remind you of a few things that really separates this particular product from a lot of other portable power banks on the market. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you first pop open the box, and by the way, what a beautiful box. And I know it's crazy to be talking about a box, but this is like you just got an engagement ring. I mean, they really built this to be an amazing presentation when you open up the box. This guy's nestled inside there. They've got some cables in the top. There's all kinds of foam padding in there. Just a beautiful presentation. All right, so there's the box. You get the unit. This is the P Plus series. This unit has 40,000 milliampere hours of energy. It can deliver 300 watts of external charging capabilities from this single unit with five things at the same time plugged in or sitting on top. Also included with the kit is a USB-C to USB-C cable. Now you might be wondering, gee Rick, how do I charge this guy? Where's that big external brick to charge it? Well, guess what? You're charging it through a bi-directional USB-C port on the front. So this cable plugged into a high power charger is all you need to charge up the unit. Also included is a full instruction manual that tells you pretty much everything you're ever going to want to know about this product. So read through the manual and you'll understand how to charge it, how to store it, what the indicators on the front mean, what ports are available, and what kind of capacities those ports provide. All right, so let's talk about the unit because I've had it for a couple of weeks. I've had it out in the field with me. And I'm telling you, I don't own a portable product that I can't charge from this unit. And that's saying a lot because I've got drone batteries. I've got big tablets. I've got cameras. I've got drones. I've got phones, tablets, everything you can imagine that runs on electrons, I'm taking with me out in the field and it's portable, I can plug it in here. It even charges my laptop because this unit has a 140 PD 3.1 port, which is all you're gonna need to charge your laptop. So again, when I say it can charge everything, I mean everything. So let's talk a little bit about the technology. So 40,000 milliampere hours, 300 watts of external charging capabilities. And you're probably wondering, Rick, what's the magic inside the unit? Well, the magic is they're using the latest 21700 lipo cells inside the unit. Now, if you know what that number is, that's the latest and greatest type of lipo cell. It's the one that's used in a lot of the big cars out there, the EV cars that are driving around. It replaces the 18650, which is a pretty standard cell that a lot of other power banks use. They're using the latest 21700, which is the latest and greatest technology. And the reason that's important is because that battery can charge quickly. It can retain the charge for a long period of time, and it also packs a lot more energy density into the same space. So to get 40,000 milliampere hours with 300 watts of power out of another unit that's using older style batteries, it might be twice as big as this one. And this one's got a cute little handle on the top where you can carry it around with you. So I even forgot to mention that. But anyway, so the battery chemistry is incredibly smart in this unit. On the front of the unit, you'll find four USB ports. There are two full-sized USB A's and two USB C's. And those can be used to charge external devices. The USB-C is also used to charge the unit. So you don't need an external charger. You basically take a high power charger, plug it into the wall, connect the cable from that to this through the USB-C port in the front, and you can charge the unit. It charges incredibly quickly because it's got both PD and QC capabilities. And I'll explain those now. So on the front, you've got four USB connections. Two of them are USB-A. One of those USB-A's can output 22 and a half watts. The other one can output 120 watts. Both of those are QC ports. And what that means is quick charge ports are intelligent ports. When you plug something into those USB-A's, whatever you plug in, if it's quick charge compliant, that board will recognize it, it'll interrogate it, 
It'll figure out what kind of voltage and current it needs to charge it quickly and safely and adjust the voltage and current on individual ports to fire just the right type of electrons at that particular product, again, to charge it as quickly as possible. Those two ports are both QC. Where the magic really happens are on those two middle ports. Those are USB-C ports. Both of those are PD or power delivery ports, which is the other quick charge standard. It does the same thing. When you plug something in like a new phone or a tablet or drone batteries that are PD compliant, it'll interrogate that device. It'll figure out what the charge level is. It'll adjust the voltage and current to charge that device quickly and safely. Now here's the big difference between this and most other units on the market. This is enabling PD 3.1, which is the very latest PD standard, and that's used on most laptops. So you wouldn't think something this small could charge a laptop, but plug your laptop in. This is, this is as big or bigger than the charger you're using at home to charge your laptop today. So if you're out in the field, you can charge your phone, your tablet, your drone batteries, all the stuff I'd mentioned before, and your laptop, which is incredible to me, because most battery banks, forget it. You're not gonna be able to charge them from that, but this one can charge it. So everything you'd want, in a charger is packed in here. It's got the latest battery chemistry. You can quickly charge it. It's got four USB ports on the front. It's got a wireless Qi port on the top. I can charge five things at the same time, including my laptop, which I think is absolutely amazing. So I like this product an awful lot. Now, if you stay tuned next, I'll take a closer look at it, explain the ports and which ports output what power, and then I'll come back with a few final thoughts just to remind you of the things that really separate this from a lot of other battery banks on the market, and I test a ton of them, and that's why I'm so excited about this one. The product features a high impact plastic case, which makes it lightweight and very durable. On the bottom of the unit, you'll find a rubber pad right in the center, and that's designed to protect the surface you set this product down on. It also keeps it from sliding around on a slippery surface. It raises the unit off that surface just a little bit because there are ventilation slots on either side, as well as on the back of the unit, that are used by the internal fan to pull air in and across the electronics to keep those electronics nice and cool during operation. On the top of the unit, you'll find a cheap pad right here. That's a 20 watt pad. That can be used with a phone or a tablet or really anything that charges through a Qi standard. Just simply set it on top of the unit. It'll wirelessly charge that device. You'll also find a nice little handle attached to the unit that makes it really easy to carry it with you. Now on the front of the unit, on the bottom, there's a power button right there and it's sort of recessed. So you've got to actually tap it to turn the unit on. And once you do, you'll see the display come on in the center, and that's indicating the current charge level of the batteries internally. So right now I'm at 65%. I like the fact that they give you a numerical value, as well as a ring around the outside that shows you a relative charge capacity. Right now I'm at 65%. As it goes down in charge, you'll actually see the number decrease, and you'll see less of these bars around the outside. On the bottom, there are four ports that you can connect external devices to to charge. There are two full-sized USB-A's and two full-sized USB-C's. They all have different specifications. The USB-C's are bi-directional as well, so you can charge the unit through the USB-C's. You can charge external devices from both of those ports. Starting on the left, this USB-A can provide 22 and a half watts of output power. The first USB-C has 100 watts of power. The second has 140 watts of power. That's the PD 3.1 port. And then finally, the last USB-A provides 120 watts of charging power. So all four of these can be used together, as well as the cheap charging pad on the top. On the rear of the unit are some specifications and some other information about the product. 40,000 milliampere hours, which is an incredibly dense, very powerful product to take with you. And again, you can charge up the five products at the same time from this unit. So it really gives you everything you need when you're away from home to keep all of your portable electronics fully charged. I hope that closer look was helpful. Now here are a few really important things to keep in mind when you're comparing the CookTech P Plus Series Power Bank with other products you may be considering. The first thing has to do with the battery chemistry, which I know seems like a simple thing, but it's super important because it's really at the heart of the product. This unit uses the very latest 21700 batteries, which are used on a lot of the EVs that are driving around the roads today. A lot of other power banks are using the older 18650 cells, and those are okay, they're lipo cells, but they don't have the benefits of a 21700. The reason these batteries are important to you is that you can get more charge and recharge cycles out of them, which means the unit's gonna last you longer. You can also charge them on a Monday and still have a full charge on a Friday. The 18650s have what's called battery decay, where you charge them on a Monday, by Wednesday, you're probably at 80% of the charge. 
The big difference though, is that this unit can pack more energy density into a smaller box. So you can get more electrons in a tiny little package with the 21700s. So all those things being equal, again, you're gonna get a better value using those newer batteries. Another big difference between them is the way that battery energy is used for external devices. Now I mentioned before, there are four USB ports on the front. A lot of other power banks might have one or two ports or three ports, but they don't have that many ports that are available to use at the same time. All four of those ports are active at the same time. And more importantly, they're smart ports. So the two USB-A ports, like I mentioned, are QC. One's 22 and a half watts. The other one is 120 watts. Both of those can be used at the same time. If you plug in a QC compatible device, the product is going to interrogate it, adjust the voltage and current to quickly and safely charge it, just like a wall charger at home. You also have two USB-C ports on the front. Both of those are PD. They'll do the same thing. Well, they'll interrogate a product that's got PD compatibility. They'll adjust the voltage and current to safely and quickly charge those. The big difference though, is one of those PD ports on the front is a PD 3.1 port. You won't find a lot of battery banks that have that type of compatibility. And the reason the PD 3.1 is important is because that's the one that'll deliver 140 watts, which means you can charge your laptops and big tablets and drone batteries and all the things that are really thirsty, you can plug it in the front of the unit and you're gonna charge them just fine. And then finally, there's a wireless Qi charging port on the top so you can lay a phone on there and boom, it starts charging. So you don't even have to bring cables with you. If you're out in the field, just lay your phone or your, your earbuds on top of there and it's gonna charge automatically. One feature I forgot to mention in the introduction portion of this is this also acts as a hub. So if you plug it into your laptop, you can use the two USB-A ports on the front, you can activate the hub function, and you can plug in a portable drive, you can plug in a thumb drive, you can plug in a camera, anything you would plug into a USB-A port on your laptop, you can plug in on the front, you've got a two port hub. So they really thought of everything you'll possibly wanna do with a power bank like this, and I just love the product. I can tell you that there aren't a lot of power banks out there that pack 40,000 milliampere hours of power into a unit this small that can deliver 300 watts out to external devices and include a Qi charging pad on the top. They've really thought of everything. And one last thing, and because I'm a nerd, I gotta talk about this. They've built in a fan system that's intelligent. Now, I know that seems, again, like a small thing, but that's the engineering team thinking about what's gonna go on in the field. This is gonna get warm when you're using all those ports. The fan inside will sense the temperature and adjust its spin frequency to compensate for the extra heat. So if you're not using a lot of energy, it'll run slow, or it may not run at all. When you start using energy, it'll spin up a little bit. Use more energy, it'll spin up a little bit more. So it's a it's an intelligent fan system, unlike a lot of other battery banks out there that may not even have a fan, but if they do, it's just on all the time, and it's making a lot of noise on your desk. With this one, it's only gonna turn on when you're using a lot of extra energy. So the people from CookTech have done a phenomenal job with this product designing it, building it. I just think it's gorgeous the way it looks. I love the handle on the top. I can carry it around with me. And it does everything I need to do out in the field, uh, just really simply. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I've loved talking about it. I think it's a wonderful product. I like it an awful lot, and I think you're going to like it as well. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, as always, stay nerdy.